welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Amdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he said the foreign Fulani terrorist bandits who gathered at the Emir of Fika's palace, the Emir Alaji Muhammadu Abali Ibn Muhammadu Idris, they gathered in his palace receiving instructions on how to sneak into Biafran land and join the Fulani Nigerian military. Unknown to them, some of the foreign terrorist Fulani bandits, they came with bombs, they came with lots of ammunition, and while they were receiving the instruction, the bomb exploded. It exploded and blew up the palace of the Emir of Fika in Yobe State. Many of the terrorists lost their lives. The Emir of Fika was lucky to have escaped. He was lucky. When the bomb ripped the palace up and set it ablaze, it was at that time that he has finished addressing the foreign terrorist Fulani bandits. After he left, it was not up to about two minutes, according to eyewitness. And the whole palace was in flame. It was in flame. The whole palace of the Emir of Fika was in flame. You know, the other day too, it happened. Also, the Emir of Jajari in the same Yobe state were blown by rampaging foreign terrorists, Fulani bandits. They blew it up. They attacked the whole village. They attacked it. You know, my brothers and my sisters, who said our Chuko Kikabiyama is not working? Because if those terrorists have not been blown up in the Emir's palace, they would have smuggled them into Biafran land to start maiming and killing Biafrans. But thank God, God is fighting for us. And that was why the bomb they carried exploded in the Emir's palace. You know, they have been threatening to blow up Biafra land if the Southeast governors and other Biafra governors refuse to, you know, reverse the open grazing ban. And that was the instruction they were receiving in the Emir's palace in Yobe State. You know, the Yobe governor, also a Fulani, his name, my Malabuni has expressed sadness over the fire incidents which occurred on Monday at the palace of the Emir of Fika. Alahaji Muhammadu Abali Ibn Muhammadu Idris. The governor, in a statement by his spokesman, Mama Muhammad, said the fire has caused a great loss to the Emirates and to the entire state and the Fulanization agenda. They thank God that the Emir escaped. You know, reacting to the fire incident at the palace, the governor said he was deeply saddened by the sad news of the fire which resulted, which was as a result of the bomb blast in the palace. You know, 
However, they, cons- they were all consoled and gave thanks to their God that the emir escaped. My brothers and my sisters, you see that God is fighting for us. He's fighting for us. And they said that they are worried that the residents of the Emirates no longer feel safe. You know, they want to make Biafra unsafe. Their own land also. They are now feeling unsafe. How can they allow the foreign terrorist Fulanese to come into their palace with bombs? Because their plan was to give them the instruction and they will now ship them down to Biafra land. But unfortunately, our God made the bomb to rip, to blow, and he ripped the whole palace up. He blew it up. He blew it up. You know, our Niger Delta brothers are supporting Biafrans. They are supporting Biafrans. Even though some of them claim that they are not, but majority of them are supporting Biafrans. Niger Delta leaders, they slammed the Fulani Nigerian government about their derogatory statements when they said that Biafrans or the Igbos are like a dot in a circle, which was a statement made by Buari Impostor in the Arrange Arise TV interview. They also slammed the Fulani Nigerian government that claimed that the Niger Delta leaders promised the Fulani that they won't allow Indibo access to the sea if the five Southeast states become Biafra. According to the Niger Delta leaders, which included Asari Dokubo and, uh, and Ankyo Briggs, Dr. Dan Pedro Baseki, Mr. Tony Nadi, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Inyam, retired, Rear Admiral Yanga, retired, amongst others, they said the statement shows the hatred which the Fulani have for the Ndebo. The group also said that the Niger Delta tie with Ndebo remains ever strong. They said it remains ever strong and they have blood heritage with Ndebo. They want the Fulani government to stop playing the ethnic game by hitting the heads of Niger Delta against Ndimo, like they did in 1966, because this time around, it will not work. It will not work. It will not work. The Niger Delta group said that the Fulanese are the common enemy of Niger Delta and Ndibo. And they also said that the South-South and the Southeast are united. The group said that Speaking to two elders and few youths in Niger Delta whom they gave money to does not mean speaking to millions of Niger Delta ethnic ethnic groups or individuals who are united with the Southeast Indibo. The group also said that there was no such promise from the Niger Delta to the Fulani Nigerian government, and that the bond between Indibo and Niger Delta cannot be shaken by the mischief of the Fulani presidency, who are trying to create suspicion in the minds of the leaders of Southeast and South South. My brothers and my sisters, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye for now.